this is the Exilens XP750. This one is a 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply and it's actually pretty awesome. We're not going to be doing a full review here as I don't have the proper equipment that is needed to actually test this, but I will be doing a bit of a sort of unboxing and overview and showing you what you get uh, obviously in the box and all the connections that it has too. So inside the box you obviously get the power supply itself. In my one, because this is a uh, EU product sample, I did get an EU power adapter, but uh, wherever you buy this you will get the relevant uh, adapter. You also get four screws to mount it to your case, although obviously your case does normally come with screws to pre-mount it, and all of your uh, extra cables that you can use uh, to attach to the semi-modular portion of the power supply. And of course you get the power supply itself, which actually is sporting a rather nice 120 millimeter red fan inside underneath the uh, you know sort of protective grill as usual. On the back you have the standard uh, input for you know the three pin adapter and a standard on off switch for you to turn it well on and off. On the side you have the spec sheet and as you can see it's a single 12 volt rail also has active PFC and is actually a generally pretty decent power supply and obviously is 80 plus gold certified as well. And on the back that is where all of the magic happens. You have two PCIe connections for the two included PCIe cables. Both of these actually double up as two 8 pins per connection there so you actually get a total of four 8 pin PCIe power connectors available to you which is awesome and does mean that you can do some pretty decent SLI setups and of course you also have four uh, sort of Molex and SATA connectors available too. Pre-attached to the power supply is the 24 pin and the 4 plus 4 or also 8 pin EPS CPU power connector. Now I would mention that this doesn't have the capability to add an extra 8 pin or even an extra 4 pin despite being a 750 watt power supply. So so if you're running something like Threadripper or you're running even uh, X289 that does require both an 8-pin and a 4-pin, then this power supply isn't quite for you. On the SATA and Molex connector side, you do actually have two cables with three connectors each that are just SATA. You also have one connector which is two Molex, one SATA, and that's pretty much that. And you have another connector which is two Molex, one SATA, and the floppy connector if you do so need that. Uh, and that does give you a pretty uh, hefty total of SATA and Molex connection. So as I mentioned, this was just a kind of quick overview of the power supply. If you're interested in picking one of these up, feel free to take a look at a more in-depth review. They can actually load test this power supply and give it a more real world and you know, sort of almost synthetic benchmark to really see what it's made of. But from the outset and from what Exilence are saying about it, it is actually a pretty decent unit and overall seems pretty awesome and I will be using it in some projects in the future. Otherwise, if you are interested in it, I'll leave some links in the description down below for you. And if you want to support the channel and keep making videos on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday basis, then please do use the Amazon and Overclockers UK affiliate links in the description down below. They genuinely do help me out. And obviously, you can check out some of the other links that are down there too. There's plenty of ways to support me, so feel free to do those down there. And of course, if you're new to the video, feel free to subscribe if you did enjoy it. I want to see more in-depth you know, products, uh, modding, testing, and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to check out some of the other other videos over there for you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next one.